Hey friends, this is Dolany TV. Welcome aboard for the post-game edition of the Edmonton Oilers and the New York Islanders tonight. Well, it's Chris Knobloch's first game as an official NHL head coach, and it's Chris Knobloch's first NHL win as an official head coach as he comes through with a 4-1 victory. The Edmonton Oilers choose to show up in amazing fashion, and the nice part is... This Oilers team is doing exactly what they needed to do, and that is put up wins. They needed to win against Seattle no matter what. Jay Woodcroft was getting fired. We know that. That's fine. But they needed a win just as much tonight as they did against Seattle. They get it. And now all of a sudden, you've won two straight. You're 4-9-1, and one, and the conversation can start changing just like that. Because now, technically, right, you are up to nine points. You're climbing out of the basement to some degree. And guess what? And end of the day, if Seattle loses tonight against Colorado and you win against Seattle on Wednesday, you're now two points behind Seattle for fifth place in the Pacific Division. So things suddenly look much better than they did only just a week ago. So that said... There's a long way to go. It could just be the new coach bump. There's a whole bunch of things at play here for the Edmonton Oilers. We'll break it all down in a matter of moments. But what I will say is it was so fantastic to see this entire Oilers performance start to finish. It starts off bad, okay? You give up a goal in the first three minutes. It's an ugly one to give up, by the way, too. And it ends up finding the back of the net rather quickly. And oh my goodness, this is going to go sideways. But you didn't have that feeling. You didn't get that feeling. The Oilers didn't allow you to have that feeling. They come out. They keep working. They keep trusting the process. The Islanders don't give them much. They're not giving the Islanders much. And they keep working. They keep working. They keep working. They keep working. Two periods solves nothing. And I'm in the intermission there. And I said, you know what? I got a feeling. The Oilers get a power play here. They're going to score. And that'll be the hockey game. Well, what do they do? They get a power play. They had one earlier. It was four seconds. That's, you know what? I don't need to say it. And obviously, you know what? They get a full power play. Two minutes to work with. Win the faceoff. Bouchard, Nugent Hopkins, Drysaddle, McDavid, Hyman. Everybody touches the puck. And it's in the back of the net for a 2-1 lead. So everything that has been missing out of this Edmonton Oilers team this start of the year, right? It just seems to be this dark cloud. They just seem to have everything going wrong, no bounces, bad goaltending, no defensive structure. Chris Noblock and Paul Coffey come to the bench and they're like, hey guys, like we got this and uh, we don't know what we're doing, but clearly the Oilers do. It figures out. Glenn Goldson gets the power play firing perfectly again tonight. Two for three, six point or sixty-six point seven percent face off or face off, sorry, I'm thinking percentages. Power play percentage, good to go. We like that. That's a huge victory for us. And oh, by the way, it's a 4-1 win. Yeah, so this is the big thing, is the result that we needed is here. The Edmonton Oilers show up and get the job done. That is huge for Chris Noblock, Paul Coffey, the whole new Edmonton Oilers bench. And oh, by the way, as well, it's huge for us Oilers fans who needed these guys to show up tonight and get the job done. So... As it pertains to the goal scoring department, friends, we're also live on Dolan TV right now as we record this. Thank you for being aboard if you're tuning in right now. We're in the midst of recording the post game video, but as we go to check out the stats for tonight's hockey game, Stuart Skinner with a staunch 32 saves right there. Good work ethic from him. Matthew Barzell, three goals on the year. He got it within the first 40 seconds. I thought three minutes, my bad. Um, Leon Dreisel, six goals. On the season, he gets his first of the game, and then uh, while well, Zach Hyman scores on the power play, like I said in the third period, from McDavid and Drysaddle, and then Connor McDavid scores his third goal of the season from Drysaddle on the power play, and then Evander Sc Kane scores his fourth of the season on the power play from Leon Drysaddle. So Drysaddle racks up a four-point night all told. Now moves to 19 points in 14 games played. And wake up offense. Hello. That's what you like to see. Fingerprints all over it. And the Edmonton Oilers doing a good, good job here tonight. They put up 32 shots on the New York Islanders in a situation where it looked like they were going to be lucky to put up 25. The hit's pretty dead even. The Oilers controlled that category most of the night. But end of the day, what I have to say is the Oilers were given one task. Go out there and show up. Do the offense thing, play structured defense, and go out there and get some goaltending. 
Guess what? Check, check, check. The Edmonton Oilers win 4-1 against the New York Islanders. They win their second in a row. At the end of the day, I'm ranting, but it's because we won. That is an amazing thing to be able to do. It feels good. We've won two in a row for the first time all season. Friends, I'll take it. It's a victory for the Oilers. It's a victory for us. I'm Tyson, this is on TV. Thank you so much for tuning into the post-game show. As I told Patrick post-game after the Kraken game, it's so much easier to do a post-game when they win because all you have to do is talk about how good they did, say who scored, peace out. You don't have to really break down much of the... Be- yeah, I, I'm trying to say it and I don't need to say it. You know where I'm going. T- friends, I'm up on Oda here.